Good morning, everybody. Happy New Year's Eve to you. Happy 2020. We're nearly there on the eastern seaboard here. It's early morning on New Year's Eve of 2019. So there's only a few more hours left of this year. And we'll be moving into the 2020s come midnight here. So I got my selenite here just sopping up all kinds of any kind of stuff that's around me that isn't the most positive. And we will be looking at, for you, I'm going to pull one card from each, the Soul Coaching deck and the Sacred Traveler deck, both by Denise Lynn. Huge fans. Huge fan. I'm going to pull one card from each deck. And we're going to go around the horn, around the entire zodiac. I'm going to pull a card until I get a zodiac sign here. And the up, oh, Taurus. Okay. Let's see where we go. So, Taurus, you're up first. One card from. Yeah. From the Sacred Traveler deck, Transformation. A fresh new way of living emerges. I'll pull one from the Soul Coaching deck for you. Whoopsie. One more, please. From the Soul Coaching deck for you. Truth. This is really about living your truth. It may change your life significantly to live your truth. Okay? Um, it does feel to me, I have transformation and truth right back to back here. Find your truth. I think that's the first order of business here. Be honest with yourself, speak your heart, walk your talk, and follow your inner guidance in all activities. You are the truth. Listen for what is sincere and honest in others. Often the hardest thing about living your truth is knowing what that is. There's a place inside of you that always knows what's true for you and what isn't. Sometimes it takes sincere silence and deep stillness to find the voice. But once you do discover it, let it let go of anything in your life that isn't authentic. And this is a new thing. It's going to be completely different in 2020 for you. Embracing this transformation is really to embrace your truth. Okay, Taurus, that's for you. Going to move on to Gemini next. Just one card from each deck. What is important for you to know for 2020? To bring yourself into most alignment with what you're here to do. Bring yourself into alignment. Miracles. Gemini. Oopsie, come back here. Miracles. My life is a miracle. Something massive is going to be happening this year for you, Gemini. <clears throat> Wandering path. Enjoy the journey. So for those of you, okay, the wandering path is how you find the miracles, okay? So for those of you, some of you who are doing something right now which may not seem logical or smart or even good to other people, not all those who wander are lost. You're taking a meandering path to something, but the path is the journey. The path is the point. Okay? It's, and at the end of the day, miracles are found along that path that would never have been found if you were more logical, right? If you were headed in the direction of something that... I'm going to say, isn't necessarily the best for you. It's not the best for you to do what other people are telling you to do or to follow a path that is historically correct. Okay? It has been historically correct to do a thing this way. You're kind of breaking new trail here by doing something that seems illogical or that seems not on a direct path with where you want to go. But the path, the wandering path, is the point of this. 
And these miracles that you will find along would never have been found without the meandering process. So if you're doing something right now in your work or in your relationships that other people don't understand, you're, you're following your own guidance. The thing you need to understand is, are you following fear or following love? And fear is a mask for a lot of things. Anger, frustration, revenge. It's all just fear, okay? If you're following love, there's only love. Love is the path for you because it's in most alignment with your higher self. So that's the work to do, is to understand the difference between those two. If there's a path that you're on that's meandering, can you, what needs to be added to that path or what are you learning along that path? Instead of just focusing on the, the final result, pay attention to what happens along the path, okay? So Gemini, this is Cancer. Next in the flow, so much for a water sign. I get this, I mean, this is like Santa's sleigh, okay? <laughs> I was going to say, and I mean, snow is just a bunch of water, right? Everything is smooth sailing. I get this card for you guys a lot, Cancerians. Not just that card, but all the to the to the sea cards and the Oracle deck, other Oracle deck. Being in your feelings is really the thing that's going to be right for you. And that is just a natural place for you to be. So that's what needs to happen. Silence. I am serene no matter what is occurring around me. Everything is smooth sailing. Those cards are opposite energy. So if you are in the flow and others around you are not, that can cause you some upheaval <clears throat> because you're very fourth house. You're very um, nurturing by nature. What you're going to need to do is remember to be, go back into the flow for yourself. And in that silence, you will find that flow. You can't you can't do things for other people. You can't fix it. You can't, you can nurture them and you can be kind to people and all of that, but you can't do it for them. Okay, Cancerians. So Leo, Cancer, Leo, then Virgo. All right, Leo, what do you need to know about 2020 to bring yourself into most alignment? That's going to be an important lesson. Voyage of the heart. Love flows through you and to you. Look at that beautiful picture. Oh, there's a boat. There's a boat. You see the boat? See the boat there on the bottom? You are really... Um, I did this. I did a Leo reading yesterday for 2020, and it was about being big, let, letting yourself get really bigger than you are. The how to do that is through your heart chakra. Surrender. Mm-hmm. Surrender. Again, more water. <clears throat> Lots of water in your in your images. Surrendering, let's see. All is well. I surrender to my inner guidance. Love flows through you and to you. That's really about self-love this year. It's really gonna be about that. And about knowing what um To go with the current, right? To flow with the current of the river and not fight the river. Don't push the river. Very famous Buddhist cone. Do not push the river, Leo. That's going to be important for you this year. Virgo, what's important for you this year? What is important for Virgo this year? Begin now. Take your first step. Being on the path, <clears throat> you still got to walk it. The, the journey to wherever you're going starts with one step, right? Take your first step. I feel like something is uh, overwhelming to you. Something feels overwhelming to you. Yeah, leadership. Oh, my goodness. <clears throat> so... I am a beacon of radiance, support, and love. This is a this is your um, so, uh, your your path 
now moving into the higher level where you're holding that torch for other people. It seems like a, a daunting task, Virgo. And I know that it may seem, you know, very outsized, but you can get there. You will get there. Getting, uh, taking one step, putting one foot in front of the other. <clears throat> you might be feeling that to get where I want to go this year, I don't think I can do it in one year. Where's the money coming from? Where's You just start moving toward it just every single day. So this is a really good thing for Virgo because you guys are so good at this. Every single day, I will take steps. That is leadership being shown to other people. It is also leadership to get where you're going or to walk this path. Every single day, Virgo, you are the embodiment of this. Take steps toward where you want to go. Even if you have a job and kids and school and all this other stuff, every single day resolve to take at least one step toward where you want to go. Okay? That's good advice for all of us, I think. <clears throat> Especially good advice for, for Virgo. Okay? Libra. What do you need to know this year that will get you into most alignment? What do you need to remember this year that will help you most? Libra. Staying focused. You know who you are. <laughs> um, staying focused on your goals. Knowing what the goals are. Okay? It can't be... It, it's it's going to be a good year to be um, scheduling yourself. Even if you want to be more spontaneous, everything you do has to go... has to be in service of this end result. So it's different than the Gemini. The Gemini was about the meandering path. That was part of the their purpose. Silence. I, I feel like you can't take, you really need to keep your own counsel about things. I am serene no matter what is occurring around me. Hold the course. Staying focused. Staying focused, Libra. That's the thing that's going to be help you get into most alignment with where you want to go. Don't let other people knock you off your path, okay? Scorpio, what is most important for you this year? What is most important for you this year? Valiant courage. Take action with passion. Something is going to require you to stand up for what you believe, to live your convictions to live in the way you want to live to pursue goals you want to pursue um, and it's gonna take some oopsie it's gonna take some courage some people may be trying to knock you off your path surrender surrender and um, I feel like if you've been because Libra is about wanting everybody wanting all things to be balanced you might get knocked off your path by trying to argue with people or get them to see your side of things and stuff and standing up for what you believe in and walking that path, but not feeling the need to argue with anybody, okay? Not feeling the need to get people on your side. You know, just do what you need to do, okay? It's not helpful or it's a waste of your energy, okay? It's a waste of your energy. So, Saggies, Saggies, what... Um, what message do you need to hear today? Going to help you in 2020. Get most into aligned with what you're here to do. Hmm. Vast vistas expand your horizons. Again, boy, Saggy, this is like your wheelhouse. <laughs> uh, the opposite of focus, right? The opposite of that laser focus. This is about expansion. This is about getting bigger. This is about seeing, oh boy, am I getting chills on this one. This is about seeing, not just seeing the big picture because you're really good at that, but it's about, it's like, oh, I can't do that. That's too big. It's about believing in yourself, expanding that horizon, getting out of your box. Even though Sagis don't like boxes, you can still get into a box. Beauty, I am deeply and profoundly beautiful. Some of you may be, um, and beauty comes inside, outside, all of it. People need to see your beauty. 
So if you've been hiding it under a bushel here, and beauty comes from your heart, comes from your soul, comes from, you know, um, the most beauty comes through people when they're beautiful inside, when they share um, with others, when they help others up instead of knocking people down. So this is about getting seen on a bigger platform. You know who you are, right? Those of you who have been who have been working towards something like that, this is about really thinking big and about moving out of getting visible. Get yourself visible this year, Saggies. Okay? Capricorn, what do you need to see or what do you what message do you need to hear that will help you in 2020 get most aligned with where you want to go? Valiant courage. You're going to be ch be called to take action with passion. Stand up for what you believe in. Okay, just like the Scorpios. You're going to be called to that this year. Essence. In my essence, I am joy. So this is when you're in that space. I feel like you're going to be doing, saying things on a bigger platform, up on that horse, people are going to see you, again, like Saggies, right, being visible, but also um, coming from a place of love and joy, coming from this heart chakra, coming, this is the, uh, that's also the purple lotus, so that is coming from your crown, that's your connection um, with your guidance, and then moving toward it. You may not have any idea what you're doing. I bet you're going to say that this year, Cap. Because you guys are qualitatively, quantitatively known for knowing how to do something, right? How to get something done. I feel like you're, the more meditation you can do this year, the more you can bring in messages. It may make no sense to you, but it, you definitely feel strongly that this is what you're being called to do. You're going to need to walk that path, okay? Aquarius. Aquarius, what is your message? What needs to be, you, do you need to be focused on to fulfill, or to move most toward your alignment with what you're here to do? Journey by Midnight, Believe in Magic. <laughs> I'm going to read this one. I'm going to read that one to you. Okay? Journey by Magic. Journey by Moonlight. Journey by Magic. Believing in Magic. Not just what your mind tells you. Not being so cerebral all the time. Surrender. Again, surrender coming out a bunch of times for you guys. So Journey by Moonlight, let me... Um, this is like being in the... Surrender to the, the forces that are around you. Let's see. Journey by Midnight. I want to read you that. Journey by Moonlight. Believe in magic. Magic is all around you. Spiritual dimensions and mystical realms are only a thought away. The veil is thin between you and the realm of the fairies, elves, angels, and spirit kings. It is indeed a magical universe, and the key to opening doors to these realms is to trust. Even if you can't see, trust that you are being supported in mysterious and wondrous ways. All is not as it seems. Trust your intuition and nudges from spirit. Believe. And that's a challenge for Aquarius, who, while you are the rebel of the Zodiac, you are also a fixed sign. So once you get something in your head, that's what's got to be, especially trusting of your um, very powerful brain. So this year is going to be about magic and about surrendering to that all is well. I surrender to my inner guidance. <laughs> What's going on with my computer? Okay, so Journey by Moonlight for you guys for Aquarius. That's cool. All right, so let's see here. Um, Pisces, Pisces then Aries. What, what message for you, Pisces? What message for you to get into most alignment with what you need to do for 2020? It will get you where you want to go. Vistas, 
seeing the bigger picture, expand your horizons, get out of your box. Pisces, easy. It's not easy for, to, for you to do, but it is, once you get in the spirit of it, it is. Okay? Voyage. Wow. All right, so this can be about... Um, Oh boy, you've got a you've got a path this year. It is on the on the um, something about a, your feelings, Pisces. You're the you're the watery. <laughs> you, well, Pisces has a little bit of everybody, but this year you're going to be called to be the most Piscean of all. And this is about seeing the big picture and about floating along on your feelings. So your feelings being your guide, your compass setting out for places unknown, having courage. I am safe and loved no matter where I am. This is about embracing different kinds of people, different kinds of ideas, different kinds of experiences. This will help you this year to get in most alignment with what you're here to do on this planet. Expanding your horizons. Okay, Pisces, expand, expand, expand. Don't get stuck in uh, a little corner of Brooklyn or Chula Vista or London, wherever you live right now. Time to go out into the world and seek your fortune. That's going to put you on the path here, okay? So Aries, we're around to Aries now. Aries, what is the one... I'm going to pull, yeah, piece, <laughs> get into, a, what is the piece of advice you have, universe, for them to, to help them get into alignment with what they, they're here to do in 2020? Grace and gratitude. Thorough, uh, <clears throat> through gratitude, joy expands. Count your blessings today as we move into the new year. Count your blessings. I have this beautiful house. It's in a lovely little neighborhood. I have my own warm bed. I have all of everything I need here. I have good friends. I have good family. I have Wi-Fi. I have the ability to reach the entire world. Grace and gratitude, Aries. Grace and gratitude. voyage. Got to be bigger. This is about seeing other people on their voyage also. Seeing your own blessings. It's really about gratitude this year for you, Aries. Knowing that you are safe and loved no matter where you are. You guys, the ones who got voyage today, you might be leaving a safe little place where you're kind of a big fish in a little pond and now you're going on to the big pond and you might be a little fish for a while but having gratitude for where you are and what you're doing um, having having the capability of doing that right having the capability to do that to go out into the world and speak your message alright you guys there you go happy 2020